What it is, y'all? It's your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back with more Don Machi. Guys, we have the weekly, uh, we've got the weekly data mines here in front of us, uh, and there's nothing really, you know, incredibly new here. I mean, there's a lot to talk about. Obviously, we have the uh, Zenos Reverse. Um, it's like a cyber slash, uh, basically a, a, an excuse for another swimsuit banner, more or less. Um, and if you don't believe me, like, legitimately, if we go back over here to the gotchas, uh, the more I sat here and thought about it, I'm like, no, these are, these are 100% swimsuits. Like, they don't look, look like it necessarily on the surface, but these are... 100% swimsuits. So, and if I recollect back, I believe last year after the anniversary, and the year before that after the anniversary, they dropped swimsuit banners. Yeah, these are 100% swimsuits. <laughs> um, so that's that's at least kind of interesting. Uh, it's, it's a new take of the swimsuit uh, banner, though. I will gr grant them that. I really do like the outfits, though. The outfits are really awesome. Um, they add a bit of an interesting touch to the game. Um, a nice bit of, like, cyberpunk that you don't normally get out of units like this. Especially considering we're talking about, like, more of, like, an isekai type series. Let me see if I can lower this a little bit here for you guys. Drop that down ever so slightly. I still won't drop down. That's okay. There we go. Let's get that down a little more. There we go. So... <laughs> Still think he looks like a cross between like uh, Samus and and uh, uh, an Ava unit, but it is what it is. Uh, so if we go into the single images, there's not a huge amount here. Uh, this literally is just a lot of the stuff for the uh, the Familia event we just got. I think those were supposed to be in last week's stuff, and we just didn't get any data mines last week for some reason. So. Oh, and worth noting, novel portraits. Notice it says swim. <laughs> so proof, these are literally just swimsuits. Uh, so these are going to be um, eyes as units. Obviously, you have the usual, I, I dare say, facial expressions. But you can tell that these are a little bit different than before. So what they're going to try to do is crop around her little hair things. And notice, like, the weird cropping on her uh, her face versus what they normally have. The weirdest one, the funniest one to me, was uh, Lee, who literally, they just block chopped his face off. And then we've got that. <laughs> uh, just, just kind of a fun little notation there. Normally, they're, like, nice and elegantly cut out. Uh, Haruhime is another good example. So what we have is when she adorns her goggles. Once again, that is 100% a swimsuit. Without question or doubt, that is completely a swimsuit. Uh, but then to get her face under there, they just literally have the usual face, but it's, let me see if I can zoom in on this a little bit more. You can actually see the line where it's just interestingly cropped. Like a lot of aliasing, a lot of weird stuff going on there. Um, I just thought that was a funny touch. Got Leafy's outfit here. And these are all going to be in the new tale. That's Haruhime's with the goggles. Haruhime's got one without the goggles. There you go. And the funny part is the Haruhime ones without the goggles are the usual things we get from her. With the exception that now with some of these, they've just taken these like chunks. I don't know if you can really see it there. But over in the, the corner here, they've just taken chunks out of the normal face. So slightly different than the stuff we'd get normally with them. thought that was very interesting. Just a nice, strange little touch. But I, I like that. I appreciate when they do that. Because I can't tell you how many times we go in here and we literally see the same face over and over and over and over and over again. That's like, why are they adding literally the same asset back to the game? you think that you could write a code to like reference the same face... But rather, it seems like they just keep bloating the game with, like, multiple of these fa the exact same faces. I don't know. Just nitpicking. Nitpicking. I know. But it is what it is. Now we get into the meat and potatoes. And, of course, we just have names of uh, names of attacks here. 
And then we're going to get into... Well, first of all, we have the tail there. Okay. Winnie's, Winnie's Box of Outbursts. So, just like per normal, uh, the gotcha is going to have three-star tickets. Nothing too cr uh, crazy or special. We're coming back. You know, we're off of the anniversary. The anniversary hype, you know, is behind us now. So, things like four-star tickets and all that kind of are in the past. Uh, here's the exchange drop items. These kind of, like, cyber gems of sort. Here's a heroic trial we're getting tonight. We're getting that uh, that har the, the swimsuit Harahime and the uh, the nightgown uh, I, uh, Aisha. I love that unit. I actually don't I, I don't even need a bond for that unit. But if you don't have that unit, I really still like her. I think she's one of those rare units that's going to still like stand on her own for a little bit longer. At least for the fire team. The fire team didn't get any love during the anniversary. Um, and yes, while they are leaps and bounds behind uh other units in in terms of like hp and even like you know a few percentage points in terms of passive skills she still hits like a truck like she was the first unit that really like base damage levels like on her own without any other support just on her own were just absolutely bonkers um aside from obviously the water units i mean outside the water units from fourth anniversary which there's a lot of caveats on that statement I just said. Damage Season 4 Anime Bundle Part 2. So, it's a four star ticket there. Uh, there's some Ascension Fall now. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I like this ba this package. But there's not that many units on here that I think are really insane. And I know I got eaten alive for my take on Aisha. But once again, if a unit doesn't have ter terribly many uses outside of War Game, Record Buster specifically, or anything like that, you know, if it's like. For this one specific event, the vast majority of the time, I'm going to be like, you could do better with other units. But, once again, we're talking about people that are only aiming for a top 1,000 score in, in, or maybe even top 500 score in uh, Record Buster if you really want to try. Or like, you know, King 1 in Wargame. You don't need these units for those. Just absolutely do not. So, uh, I would say probably skip this. Save your Iris. You know, once again, if you miss some things in the anniversary, we're going to get a rerun here in a few months. Uh, we've got the anime stuff incoming. They're probably going to drop some really crazy units on us at some point shortly. Uh, case in point, Harahime, who's like mandatory. Uh, things like that. So I would save personally if you're free to play. I mean, obviously those are paid bundles. But if you're choosing what you're going to pay to play, I would hold off on these banners. You know, unless you just absolutely need max every unit in the game. And then you probably aren't listening to this anyway. Uh, Zenos Reverse uh, Mini Bundle. Once again, I don't know, guys. I, I I just, I'm not enamored with these new units. I'm, I'm pretty happy for, like, one and done on most of these guys. And then, you know, with the one banner that's really good, sure. But the rest of the banners, it's like, I, I'm, I'm just going to save. All right. If you want more on that, check out the, the Before You Summon video, which should be dropping here in a couple of hours course this is going to be the oops i don't want to download it i just want to look at it this item here is going to be the uh, uh the token for the gotcha this amulet and that gem are actually going to be for the uh for the heroic trial let's get down here Zelos reverse. So this is the uh, the scene for the login. We saw that login yesterday. There's basically going to be two different logins. One's your standard login, and another one which I believe is this one? Question mark. You're looking at a free 500 uh, iris incoming. So that's very nice. Okay. Here it is, the fifth anniversary. Okay, so this is the one that's for that's the 500 iris. This is the one that's just kind of the standard login. And this is the one that's the 500 iris. So log in for five days, get 500 iris. Totally, totally worth. Ooh, new outfits. I'll show off the big. Uh, so these can be the new outfits for the uh, the the tail. And notice, I believe, what's a mistake in here? That is Winnie's outfit. There you go. So I don't. Is she in the interact? I got my phone in front of me here. I don't think she's been added to the interact screen. Let's see. Oh, nope. She is in the interact screen. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to get new outfit stuff for her. Um, and I think they said we're going to get outfit stories too. So there you go. I forgot she was added to the outfit screen. But uh, there should be some farmable iris hopefully in that. I would hope so at least. 
Heroic Trials, uh, Exalted Warriors, we already talked about that. Uh, the Zenos Reverie, this is just a standard size tale, it's not a long tale or anything of that nature. Um, so, but, you do get the free lead, so you definitely do want to max him out, I mean, he's free to play, you might as well. Uh, the rest of the units, well, we'll cover that in the, in the separate video. Uh, let's see, is there anything else down here? Oh, I love these backgrounds. These backgrounds are so cool. They almost look like, uh... They almost look like Dion De uh, Keck's outfit uh, location. Don't a little bit, little bit more, more cyberpunky than that. But I don't know, because this is more like steampunk, and these are more cyberpunk. Oh, there's a difference. So that one's blue. That one's red. And, like warning lights going off. I guess. I like these. I like these stages. These look really, really cool. A lot of, a lot of. Clearly, a lot of effort and thought went into these. I mean, you know, once again, someone has to sit down and design all this stuff for the game. So, a lot of appreciation for that. What is this? Uh, I do not know what that is. Is that a new... That must be a new combo attack. That's got to be a new combo attack they're working on. I don't remember them saying anything in the news about a combo attack. Uh, oh, it says title effect. Okay, okay. So these are going to be actual things that maybe are animated in the title. Ah, very cool. I like that a lot. That's that's pretty awesome. So expect an animated title card coming. All right. A lot of good stuff. And, of course, the anniversary title card. So uh, this is the, uh, the last day of the month. Uh, you know, it, it pieced out at just the right time. Make sure you guys finish up all your current stuff. Other than that. That's going to be the video. Like, comment, share. Let me know if you're hyped for this new event. And I'll be back with the before you saw my video here really soon.